Hello everyone, Ashma here. Let's continue on with Blasphemous. So at the end of the last episode, we had a look at our options of where to proceed, either through the Wasteland of the Buried Churches, Mercy Dreams, or up here in the Convent of Our, uh, of our Lady of the Child Visage. Although, now that I look at it again, where did that way go to? Hmm. Well, I think that just narrows it down. Oh, yeah. Just narrows it down to these two options here. But before we do that, um, I was actually thinking about why don't we do a little bit of backtracking here because we have a new relic. The three gnarled tongues. That should open up a new, uh, new pathways for us. So let's have a quick way back to the Brother of San Soro, because we can also turn in another rosary bead and see if we can find anything new on the way. can kill those guys mighty quick now, huh? Youch! And remember if we have seen this yet? I'm actually beginning to think that I'm not doing the parry exactly, right? Because as we have seen in the beginning, there is a trophy associated with that. Or doing five perfect parries, rather, that we have not gotten yet. So, yeah. Wonder what is up with that, and also wonder what is up with this just here. Uh huh. Stones on ground indicate secret. Now, what do we have here? Clavicle of Dal Hussein, the school child. They searched for him for days, until they found Mark's remains in the woods. Since then, rumors tell of demons riding on the backs of flying goats coming from faraway lands. The hell? Uh, that is mighty interesting. Ah, uh, don't tell me we can't get up there. Not telling me we can't get up there? Cause we cannot jump high enough in the muck here? Where well, are we going to get that relic, probably? Probably way later on in the game, huh? Coming back to the parries, though, it really does make me curious, as I think I got the timing down. But what do I know? The game just won't grant me a trophy there. Ass game. Let's have another try here, shall we? Oh, he counter attacks automatically. I was always pressing a button. Ah. So maybe it's a twofold process, huh? Block or rather parry, and then. Got a perfect timing when he does the counter attack. Hmm. Now, just to find another enemy to test out our theory here. But we probably won't find one here. Oh, anyway, we are. Very close to 7,000 Tears of Atonement. And with that, another upgrade. But where can we get another 700 souls quickly? Uh-huh. So that is probably due to our relic here, huh? Cool. Oh, there's another corpse. Listen, my son, to the silence. It is an undulating silence, a silence where valleys and echoes slide. A silence that bows foreheads to the ground. Hm. 
And we got another Moonshot. Oh, Karim. 16 of 38. Getting close to the halfway point here. I do wonder if they are only just a collectible or if we actually get something worthwhile by rescuing all of them. I mean, I hope so because there are a fucking lot of them in this game. Anyway, let's continue down here, get our another rosy repeat. Mm, yeah, one down. Yes. And we got another beat slot. So, what do we equip here? Actually, do we have yet another? No. We don't. Uh, what can we equip? Can get a little bit more fervor. Dodging cooldown reduced. Protection against lighting. More defense when we are near to dying. Further when destroying objects. Protection against toxins. Protection against magical attacks. Protection against... No. Resistance to falls, limiting recovery time, or protection against fire. Let's go with more further, huh? Yeah, why not? Alright. Now, let's quickly go back to Hondo. And... I think we should be able to get even more things there. With our new relic in hand. Because I think it is safe to assume that the game will only get harder from here on out now that we have, you know, completed the first part of it by visiting all three visages and opening up that door wherever the hell it is. Actually, I think it was a door to a church, right? So that probably means that we should go to the wasteland of the parent churches and try over here. Sounds reasonable enough. I right, can reach you. Yes, we can. Huh. Well, why didn't we do that sooner then? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Now, uh, what is this? Pelican effigy. Another beat. Rosary beat. Beat made of forged copper, coated in a dense acromine patina. The pelican fed its children with its blood. Protects the rare from all harm while they drink from the bile flask. Oh, that could come in useful. May our chest full of cuts bleed when it spills red. will feed the hungry. Let it bleed, for when it pours upon this land of the dead, shall be blessed in the eyes of the miracle, and those who rest here shall live on the other side of the dream, on the way of eternal possessions. Let it bleed. Let it bleed indeed. Little rhyme there for you. Because who needs further when we can just use this beat to, you know, heal without interruption? Although, well, I guess we won't have much use out of that particular uh, Rosary Beat. Just because we are not allowed to heal during boss fights anyway. As we do not want to avoid that trophy. That would just be dumb. So, I think there was something more over here. I remember that right. So let's quickly go and check that out. I actually wanted to do this downward attack, but 
The game just wouldn't let me. Uh, Alright, up and to the right. Yeah! That's where we want to go. Alright, what is in here? So, layer of excommunication. Prayer that ignites the blood with unbridled fervor. For a while, the quick attacks of the penitent one are replaced with a devastating blow that annihilates enemies. Hmm. Forgive me, father. Excuse me from this oath. Do not let your eternal miracle take over my soul and possess my body. For I fear the miracle more than I fear my own torment. Hmm. Alright. Good, 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 good. I think with all of that in hand, we can now go back and see where the game might take us still. I mean, there are still more uh, things you could probably get right now. But... I think we have to, you know, backtrack anyway, once we have all the relics at our disposal. So, yeah. Let's not spend too much time on trying to find each and every item we could collect at the moment. As we can just go and get all of them in one fell swoop a little later. Or a lot later, depending on how quickly we can find these other relics. Now, is it just me, or is the timing on the slash dash here and the downward attack a bit iffy? And just to spite me, they were kind of flawlessly just now. Ah, well, nothing can be done about it. Anyway, let's go back to Albero. A quick way now. And uh, only 500 more souls. Mm -hmm. Alright, we could also go here to the merchant and buy her stock. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually do that. Because there is no telling that I would actually use the new moves that I could buy. Even if I did buy them. But those items we can buy could probably help us along our path here. So, what do we have for sale, old woman? What I am offering, and may my eyes be. Cultivate Eye of Erudition. Sure. Probably another rosary bead. Eyeball belonging to Alavaros, the scribe, who glimpsed the truth hidden to so many other eyes. Stony scrutiny reveals the vital essence of enemies. His body was immobilized, and amid cries of repentance, his skin began to turn whiter and whiter until it finally became limestone. As he was up, about to become a complete statue, in a final sigh, his tears softened one of his eyes that he managed to separate himself from the rest of the body by falling to the ground. Then we discreetly moved her rigid body of lime from her cell to the lower parts of the Archicoth Archi cathedral along with the other forbidden statues, we put a white loom over her so that no one else would know that under her would sleep 
Punched by the miracle. Great scribe. Vital essence of enemies. So we can't see the health bar. Yeah, let's just put that on for testing. This is a precious treasure to me. Its value goes far beyond what I ask for it. And may I don mourn in black if I'm trying to deceive you? All right, then. Amber of the Holy Cremation. Sure. And there go all our tears. Yet another rosary bead. Amber crystallized through a long forgotten ritual. It retains some of the heat of a bonfire lit on a different land. <laughs> bonfire on another land, huh? Tempest the heart, increasing the defenses of whoever carries it. And so the march was sung as a small group of parishioners walked in procession to the graveyard. The prayer was repeated over and over again along the way, turning their voices into a hypnotic whisper, murmurous and unrhythmic. Upon arrival at the burial ground, everything fell silent. When, with each shovelful from the undertakers, the soil dropped cold onto the coffin, a hooded girl, rumored to be the daughter of the deceased, threw in a hot amber that gleamed on its way down to the pit. The dirt continued to cover the, the hole, but to everyone's astonishment, the amber could still be seen, glowing under the frosty soil. So, more defense, huh? Hmm. Well, it's getting a little bit crowded in here. Recover health by destroying objects. You know what, let's remove that and put on more defense. All right. Is there anything else that I can remember that we could get? Yeah, no. Let's just continue on for now. It vexes me so much that that elevator is blocking that platform, so we can't get that cherub just now. But we would have to go all the way around through the graveyard of the peaks to do that. All right then, straight shot from here. Let's do this. Been a while since we've been here. <laughs> all right, we can't parry you. And yeah, we can actually see their health bar now. That is convenient. So I think we should, you know, hold on to that beat for a while. Then again, do we really need it? Hmm. can actually kill those in one combo now. Ah, so that was probably a proper execution of the parry, I think. Yeah, opening them up to execution straight away. So yeah, it does seem to be a two-part process. Their attack comes out so delayed. Yeah, I think I'm starting to understand this a little bit better. Better late than never, I guess. Alright, let's just have a look, quick look down here. Oh yeah, there was something under the bridge here, right? Something we couldn't get the first time we were here. 
can't remember what it was that we couldn't get. Aha! Now this is looking better. Tentulia's carnal remains. Oh, we can get that to Ludovica, right? Remains of the murdered novice Tentulia that were isolated from the rest, so she could not receive a holy burial. Who was Tentulia, you ask? Well, she was once a girl born in this same yellowish village of Albaro, like you and me. On her fifteenth year, something extremely unusual happened. Her parents watched as part of her hair began twisting, unavoidably turning into very thin thorns. Concerned with the thought that it might be punishment from the miracle, they locked her in as a novice inside a distant nunnery, famous for its strict cloistering, thus preventing the discovery of what would have undoubtedly been considered heresy. Just because her hair was weird? Oh well. Fitting to the folks in this land, I guess. That they would kill somebody for their hair. Ooh. Yeah, well, timing is a bit tricky, I gotta say. Anyway. Let's continue on with our pet quest here. Ah, Repento! Now, I am actually not going to talk to him here. Just because... My... Well... How would you say? research on the internet I discovered that if you do not talk to him here you have a chance of seeing both endings to a certain quest later on in the game and thus we'll be able to nab two trophies along the way so yeah let's leave him be for now and I just noticed that there is somebody sitting on this guy's head. Ugh. So yeah, sorry Pento, we will help you later. I thought we miss out on anything important for now. Bridge of the Three Cavalries. Hmm. Don't think we've been here before. But it kinda looks like boss fight village here, so. Maybe let's go over our equipment once again. I mean we guess I guess we do not need that. Yeah. Oh well, we do not know if that's actually a boss fight, so. Ah! It's you! Well then, <laughs> that was quick. Uh, I think he also uses uh, lightning attacks, so let's equip that. And let's go for it. Estras of the Anointed Legion. Whoa. Your little rolly boy. like to hit you with my last strike of the combo, but you just won't let me. falling for that.
damn it, look at the range of his attacks. That wasn't so great. Do we have anything that we could use instead? Well, we could at least equip that, I think. Yeah, I mean, why not? All right, let's try this again. After we get out here. <laughs> Not really. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Lighting really isn't the problem here. It's actually just hitting him. Actually, maybe we should stay in a corner and try to hit him from here. I like it a little bit better. Still don't know if it's, uh, you know, what's the right use for us though. Maybe let's try and stay at the other side of the arena, just so we can reclaim our guild a little bit faster, should we need to. Definitely better. Uh, still not good enough. But yeah, let's stay on the left side of the arena.
come on now. Yeah, that was pretty dumb on my part. Getting better. Didn't quite dodge it. Dodged it this time perfectly. Yeah, just keep doing that. No. Didn't you hear me? Ah. Ah. Bit hard to differentiate between his attacks when he's, you know, halfway through the screen. And that were some costly mistakes there. Yeah, continue doing that again, huh? Won't you do that for me? It's his sister. She was his sister, right? Well, that's just great. Ah, <sighs> ooh. Wow, this is actually pretty difficult. Well, mostly due to the fact that we are not allowed to heal ourselves during the battle. And because I always mess up the dodge on that one attack. That right here. this attack of him there just because it opens him up pretty nice and wide yeah keep doing that ah not like this not like this is already here, huh? Oh, God. Yeah, could you two just leave me alone for a second here? Just so I can... Uh, get my bearings. Well, that was a pretty good try. I think. 
don't think I have his moveset down quite well now. Not good enough, mind you, but well enough. As long as he's kind of cooperating here with me. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> to the left. Yes. I dodged it. Cheating. And there's his sister already. question is, do we have enough health to just rush him down? I think this may actually be the case. Not if I mess it up like this, though. Yeah, I'm just making a mess of it now. Unless... Toronto to my sister. Plea to the storms, intoned by dry throats and shaking voices, calls forth blazing rays that pierce the clouds, striking down nearby enemies. Hmm. Sister of mine, don't leave me, for I carry you in my breast and in my heart. Sister of mine, don't leave me bleeding, for I carry you in my chest and in my blood. Sister of mine, don't leave me in silence. I carry you in my bosom and in my song. Well, there we go. Woo. That was quite the fight. Alright then, everybody. I think we've gone on long enough for today. So let's just, you know, push everything that waits for us on the other side of this bridge into the next episode. So, thank you everybody for watching this episode of Blasphemous, and I will see you on the other side. Until then, bye bye